Hello, I'm going to talk to you today about the carbon cycle. So, what the carbon cycle is, is basically carbon is never created or destroyed on Earth. It's just moved from one place to another. So, what the carbon cycle shows is how carbon moves throughout different stores and different places around the Earth. So, lots of people get overwhelmed when remembering the carbon cycle, so the best way to do it is just step by step. Okay? So, to begin with, I'm thinking about the carbon dioxide that's in the atmosphere. So carbon exists, some carbon exists in a gaseous form as carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now, there's only one thing that removes carbon dioxide from the air in a carbon cycle, and that is through a process of photosynthesis by plants. So here I have my plant, which is photosynthesizing. Remember, this is the process that plants do. They need carbon dioxide and water to make their own glucose. So the carbon's been taken out of the air into, or out of the atmosphere, into the plants, okay? So, again, we're just taking it step by step. So we're thinking, what could happen to this plant? Now, I know we've drawn a tree here, but this could represent any plant. So this plant could get eaten by an animal. So here is my beautiful sheep. Okay, there it is. So we can see that by eating, we have passed that carbon from the plant into the animal. Okay, so next up, we're going to think about what all living things do. One of the things that all living things do is they respire. Now, what respiration is, remember, is um, the way that we get energy from our food. So it's a way of releasing energy from glucose. And one of, the, um, one of the waste products of respiration is carbon dioxide. So as um, animals and plants respire, they release carbon dioxide. Now this is a stage a lot of people forget. A lot of people forget that plants respire because they think they only take in carbon dioxide. They take in much more carbon dioxide in photosynthesis than they release in respiration. We've got to remember they still do release some carbon dioxide during respiration. Okay, so what we're going to think of now is, it's quite sad, but some of these animals and plants, well, all of them eventually will die, and they will be, uh, they will decay, okay? So as they're broken down by microorganisms, by bacteria and the such like, again, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. So, um, we can see there's lots of things returning carbon, to the, uh, carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Now, what can also happen to these sheep and these plants is if they're in the right conditions, over millions of years of heat and pressure, they can actually be turned into fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas. So again, that carbon has been moved from these plants and animals into the fossil fuels. So the carbon is now stored here. Now, what do we do with fossil fuels? Well, humans burn them. So we burn them to release loads and loads of energy, loads of chemical energy, which is locked up inside them. So as we burn them, the scientific name for burning, remember, is combustion. As we burn them, the um, carbon dioxide is released from the fossil fuels and returned to the atmosphere. So that, is the, that essentially is the carbon cycle. The way to remember it is just work one step at a time. Think about the different potential fates of our plant and of our animal. Remember that the only arrow coming out of the atmosphere, the only thing that's taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere is plants photosynthesizing. And apart from that, just practice, practice, practice. Thank you very much.